Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome back to our Unity Endless Runner tutorial series. Now today we're going to take a look at how our character is jumping. So at the moment, the way we're jumping in the game is uh, we, we've got a little system in place where like you can tap a little bit and you jump just a little bit up, or you can hold and you jump a little bit higher again. But there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a sort of a bug I suppose with the way the jumping works uh, at the moment. So if we walk off the edge of a platform basically, we can still jump afterwards. It's just like that. So we walk off the edge, we can still have a little bit of a jump. If we if we jump in the air, we only get one little jump like that. But in effect, we're kind of getting a bit of a double jump effect going on. And unless you have a double jump in the game, that's not really what you want to have happening. So we're just going to fix that in a very simple and straightforward way. And the way we're going to do that is by uh, changing some stuff in the player controller script. So our player controller is how we're handling all our jumping. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that right now. Okay, so once we're opened up here in Mono Develop, uh, essentially what's happening with, with our jump at the moment is we're only checking that we're grounded uh, at the first moment that we're trying to jump because obviously you can't check if you're grounded while you're in the air and what happens is when you walk off the edge of the platform although you're no longer grounded you're the jump the jump timer we're using to control the extra bit of jump you can get by holding the button uh, that's been reset as soon as you touch the ground and when you walk off the edge of uh, a platform basically you're no longer grounded so you can't start a jump but you can continue jumping by holding the mouse down. So what we need to do is essentially just eliminate that ability. So what we're going to do is add a new, uh, just a new boolean value that we'll call, uh, we'll just say it's private, private uh, bool. So just a true or false uh, checkbox, basically, um, that we will call uh, stopped jumping. And essentially this is going to become true when we touch the ground and it's going to become false when we start jumping so when we jump this is going to be false so that means that we're able to keep jumping by holding the button down and so then when we hit the ground again it's going to become true so that we know we've stopped jumping and essentially what will happen is it'll only become false when we start jumping so when we walk off the edge here we're not pressing the button to start jumping, so that so it'll stay false, and that means we won't be able to uh, do our holding down jump. So what we do here is once once we're starting our jump here, so in if grounded, this is where we're starting our jump. So here we'll just say stopped jumping is equal to false, uh, and then when we're holding the button down. Not only do we want to check that a button has been pressed, we also want to check that we haven't that stop jumping is false. So that way we know that stop jumping will only be false when the button has been pressed. And so this way we know that the jump start button has been pressed and we're not just floating randomly in the air. So we have this and thing, but we want to make sure that both of these values are checked first so we have either space is being pressed down or mouse button is being pressed down we don't want to say either space is bitten being pressed down or else mouse button and stop jumping are false so the way we want to make sure that this is happening is basically we put an extra set of brackets around these two guys so basically this whole section will be worked out as one thing so whatever's in these brackets is we get either this or this one of those is true and stop jumping as false then we're able to continue doing this stuff and then finally we need to reset when we stop jumping uh, we need or when the button stop being pressed we need to reset our stop jumping so basically here when we let go of space or when we uh, let go of our mouse button here we'll just say stop jumping is equal to true and in our in our start function, we want to set stop stop jumping to be equal to true as well, or else uh, 
on the very first platform will be able to do that little extra bonus jump and then we won't be able to do it on any other platform and that's not what we want to happen at all so we go back in here now and we should see that when the player walks off the edge of any of these platforms he's immediately not able to jump anymore uh, so it's compiled there and we should hit play and hopefully if it's all gone according to plan we haven't gotten we haven't made any too crazy changes so let's have a look here yep i can no longer jump by walking off the platform i'm, I'm stuck falling to my doom perfect which is just the way we want so there we go we're we've eliminated that kind of weird funky double jump action that we had going on there but what if you actually wanted your player to be able to double jump properly and not just in this strange situation when he walks off the platform what if you want him to be able to jump twice to be able to for example get up to higher platforms and for example then we could have a larger variance in where our platforms are being placed because if we know that he can have a double jump you could have one platform down low and one platform up really high so the way we can do that again it's very straightforward and simple it's literally just like just an extra boolean variable so much like we used our stop jumping variable here we're going to use another oh no that's the wrong place what am i doing uh in our variables up here we're going to use another new variable uh, another private bool that we're going to call can double jump and so essentially you can double jump uh when the character is in the air and when the character hasn't already double jumped so by default can double jump uh, will be true and can double jump will always be true when the character is grounded so in our grounded uh, if grounded statement down here we want to say okay yeah so can double jump will be true because as long as we're on the ground we know that the player has the potential to be able to jump twice in the air so so when the player is grounded here we know that the player is able to jump once and that's fine and we know that at this point uh, our double jump should also be true so that's grand and fine and so when we input our key down here that's we know that with this section that's the very first jump we want to make but if we want to be able to jump again we want to do another check when the key is pressed down but this time we want this to happen first of all when the player is not grounded so when the player is in the air and also when our can double jump variable is true so as long as that is true we know that we want to be able to double jump and as soon as we have double jumped we know we want that to be false so we don't want to be able to double jump again so can double jump then is equal to false and obviously we want to use the force of jumping so we want to copy this and paste that in there um, and we want to make sure that stop jumping is still false of course uh, because we our stop jumping has now been set to true when we release the first jump and now that we're pressing for a second jump we want to make sure that our stop jumping is going back to being false again so the other thing that we will need is if we if we were to leave it like this now we would have a double jump let's actually just have a quick little look we will have a double jump that will work but it won't be able to um do a long second double jump so this just as an example this might be how you might want your double jump to operate every game is different every game behaves and operates differently but for example so we should have we get, there we go we have a little double jump there Oop, no i didn't hit the we've got a little double jump and if i hold down and hold down again i still only get a tiny little boost so you might want that kind of little double jump it's just as like an extra little boost or an extra little way for a character to save himself from dying just like that but more likely you'll want him to be able to get a big long second jump again so we we'll need what we need to be able to do to do that is to reset our jumping counter to give it the full length of time that it has and we're already doing that when the player touches the ground 
as soon as you touch it to the ground the counter is being reset to the maximum time so we can just take that same bit of code copy it from there which is jump time counter is equal to jump time so that's our current time that's counting down is equal to the jump time that we've set which is what have we set in the game here uh, on our player jump time we set that to 0.25 so every time we know that our jump time counter is being reset back to 0.25 and then counting down again when we're holding down the button so we need to copy this exact same bit of code and paste it in just there like that save that pop back in here and just let it compile down here and once that's finished now if we play the game we should have a nice little double jump there we go so now we can jump extra high as high as we like and like I said, then that means we can maybe add a little bit more height to our to the different in change in change. So we can maybe we should make this like six, for example. And it might add just a little bit more difficulty to the game. See, so look now we've got a huge jump in the platform there. We're still getting obviously we're still getting small little changes like that, but at the same time, suddenly we can have big drops. And now the potential is there for us to be able to jump pretty much the height of the screen. So if we just stop this and we got our platform generator, we've got our max height point, which is six, and our platform generator is at minus three. So essentially there's a difference of about 10 there. So let's try and set this to 10. And we know that the difference we can get, we can essentially jump that height now because we've got a second little double jump oh, and I still managed to fall down uh, so as our players run along here let's actually make this full screen so as he's running along doing fine as you can see he's able to cover a bit more distance now and add a little bit of uh, variety and a little bit more whoop there you go see that was a little bit harder to reach up to but luckily we have the the slidey edges on the platform so he's able to still reach those places now you may not want to use a double jump in your game you might find it makes it a little bit too easy uh, and it kind of takes away some of the challenge again it's all down to personal preferences but it's relatively simple to add and simple to use in the game so there you go there's a, a simple little fix to our little jumping bug that we had and a new double jumping system for our player to be able to use so thanks for watching and I'll return with more endless runner goodness in the very near future. Thanks for checking out this episode and if you want even more Games Plus James goodness make sure you hit those subscribe and like buttons. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook by following the links on screen where you can find out all the latest news about the channel. And if you want to help support the show check out the Patreon page where you can get exclusive content in return for helping make the channel even better. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.